match off the bench itong si Carl Nonoy and better red cups this guy MJ Valacer ball swing stolen now San Beda Red Caps is now running and that's a great basket so this will also be a challenge and another steal in here a walk in the park finish by Kalitong San uh, Lasal Green Hills pero taller din itong San Beda Red Caps but look at that sore a big man ng San Beda Red Caps ito si number 75 look at him inside using his height and strength that's Itong San Bede kasi bulky yung mga bigs nila kaya kayang i-overpower sa loob. Look at that block off the back boy Karibi! No, no. However, yung gesture is it. Kyle decides to drive. Bips and the finish is good. Yung mga double clutch finish. Look at that! Valdez. Lorenzo missing the three. MJ will serve with the put back. And as the start of our game here, talagang nagraran into the emotion gaga ng the mga player nito because on your screen earlier it's Coach Miko of San Beda Red Cup uh, dribbling sequence na nangyayari. It's all ball movement and look at that, but defensive end to contain Donoy, but also crashing on the offensive boards. Just dr drifting to the left, right in the corner, mid range, and swishes it home. Pero ang gaan kasi ng katawan itong si Mix Oz is looking at his uh, body frame and he's also a lightning quick player. And a great move. What on Bacal gives it over to Dalente. And Leon scores again. Seconds remaining here the first period. An exciting first period. Not to, you know, they're very deep pa din. No, no. Dogs the basketball. Before the game. So, able to showcase his full arsenal a while ago with mid ranges, um, you know, different types of finishes from left to right and euro steps. So, I'm expecting a lot from this. Rebound here, sent by the Red Caps again, and this action naman yon, double screen on the top. At the Velvet D League. So in the game a while ago, Arellano, the outside shot niya wasn't dropping as much. So let's see if Kaya niya bumawi in this game. And Hachuela, we are talking about him, but Abad is there to clean up. Using the screen of Hachuela, but Ortega loses in the, bas the basketball. Pass it over, and another transition offense here. Rebound battle goes to Red Cubs. Buak from behind by Ortega. Good anticipation by Ortega on that shot. Spinning, floating. Talaga puro paint attack sila. You don't see them settling. This Gomez swings it back to Osses. Dribble drive sequence is good for Osses. Play. An intimidate shots, pero nahihirapan naman makipagbang bodies down low. So, Hachuela, give it over to Ram Sharma, but... Finals against Sandeda, this is high-level basketball. What a move to play. And good defense right there on the Sandeda part, kita mo naman. Batong Bacal using the screen of Dre. Dre Lorenzo for three. And he six that basket in. A big man that can, that can stretch the basketball. For actually, gusto nga niya. 34 to 23 in favor of San Beda still. And he is blocked by Dre Lorenzo. Dre on the fast break and he scores. No San Beda right now. Sharma inside. So Dre will rest for a moment. A well-deserved rest for you. Now, medyo naliligaw yung teammate niya. He's the one telling them where to go. So he's a, a true leader for San Beda Red. Feliciano will, with the inbound, almost a steal. MJ, look at that. Got hurt on that play. And another. LaSalle Green Hills with 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Feliciano calling out a play. 3-point shot is good. 
MJ with the basketball. Two-man game fakes. Scoop finish. It's good. And back to our game by a steal, but a rejection by Or Orkines with a rebound. Jumper right at the corner, it's good. Actually played for La Salle Green Hills back in his day. And going back on the old days. He kick out on the right side, open yung isang teammate niya. Mercado using his body to shield that basket. Boots from San Beda. Keenest double clutches. Kita naman natin yung suporta ng mga student na unang-unang champion for the Velvet D-League Basketball. So, 10 seconds remaining here. 8 seconds remaining. 5 seconds to shoot. They need to put the ball up now. And nothing but the bottom of the net. Beating the buzzer is Andre Feliciano. So our score is 48 to 34 in favor of San Beda Red Cubs. Their last step toward the championship. I sat with Coach Renan earlier, head coach of LSGH, and one thing he noted is for the players to recover from their previous game, which happened earlier today, and that goes for the, both of the teams as well. Ngayon, makakasama natin si James Izon, who is the team captain of La Salle Green Hills. Hi, James. Hi. So, two weeks ago, you sprained your ankle, right? So, despite not being able to play in today's game, what were the actions or the things that you did to be of help to your team? Um, since wala ako, hindi ako makapag-training, um, I'm still there for my teammates. Uh, yung presence ko, yung, yung pwede ko i-advise sa kanila and kung ano man yung uh, kailangan ng teammates ko, talaga nandun ako to support them and to, to, give, to give them kung ano yung uh, kulang and siyempre nanghihingi din sila sa akin ng advice. Uh, kung anong pwede nilang gawin. And ayun yung tingin kong uh, nakatulong ako sa kanila. Alright. So, according to your coach as well earlier, he wanted your team to work more on your emotions before, during, and after the game. So, given the current score standing, what do you think your teammates should do to take on the lead? Uh, first, kailangan namin maging composed since um, yung kalaban niya is San Beda, uh, very tough team. Uh, kailangan namin maging composed, maging stay sa... Uh, Ma kailangan namin mag-focus and stay in the game and tiwala sa sistema at uh, sa isa't isa. Okay, so that would be all for now. Now, thank you, James. So now, who will be able to back the win? We will find out after the break. Lasal Greenhill squad to be back in this game. Unang-una, they have to be better with their composure. So, yung press break nila, kailangan nilang ayusin. Maybe, kailangan nila i-control yung turnovers pa nila. You know, lessen it a little bit more. Paano naman, uh, makabalik sila dito sa laro na to. For San Beda, syempre, they need to hound and pound inside. That's their bread and butter so far. But how are you going to adjust on the fly if they keep on switching the defense every now and then? And tama yun na kibeda. Great recognition there, but beating Ab. They decide to drive. Who we'll get it? Dre gets it. Three point shot. It's good again. I bet the Red Cubs rather Francis Dalgente. But Abad answers back with the two. Cañete again. Cañete, what will be the call? It's an offensive foul called. Ano mo sasabi mo dun sa, sa layup na yun ni Cañete? There's position for the ref to be calling a foul. But if we'll, we'll just straight hand going to the basket, that will be okay. That possession against Ortega. And one of the players I'm waiting to pop off in this game is itong si Gian. Just having some difficulty. Nahahound and pound siya dito itong San Beda Red Cup pressure. Batong Bacal gives it over to Daliente. Italientes. Kita natin, lumulobo na yung lamang ng San Beda right now and we can see Kyle Nonoy back in the game. So that begs the question. Well, championship game to, so expect a lot of physicality in this game. That is right, but three points for Kines. Now, three threes is a practice. Need more consistency and repetition.
Luagen. Inside, he was foul. The younger San Beda squad, napuno naman ng mga professional basketball player blood. Mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan. Na. Foul is stolen. Here it comes, 3 on 1. Great pass and con. Tres lumilay up ng hindi ka boss. Mga moves na pang hoops ang lupet. Smooth as smooth. Pasok sa galawang paligan na ikaw ang bida. And back of the game with just 54 seconds remaining. Ortega shot inside has missed. Here comes Osses. Open for three. Another miss for them. Transition offense again for San Beda. The Red Cubs without an answer coming from the side of LaSalle Green Hills. LSGH needs to find a way to stop the bleeding. Because they climbed in this fourth quarter, so they have to find something. For the doors. And this is the start of our fourth and final quarter. All of the numbers, all of the W's are now tabs prevail on this game or makakabalik ba ang Lasal Green Hills. But a back to... Muywela. Off the backboard. So you can see on your screen the supporters here at the Velvet D-League. We want to acknowledge your presence and give you a big... Thank you. Oh, right. Sorry, it's Arellano University Gymnasium. I'm just calling out San. MJ gives it over to Talente. You can see that mga mama na rin yung big man na meron sila. You know, you know, we want to give you a shout out, everyone who's watching out there. And a three point shot again, right on top of the key. Here comes San Beda again. Marky. Marky floats and scores for two. Lanky, kaya ang hirap din i-defend ng mga ganong klaseng floater. He doesn't need to bang bodies inside. And intercepted here by Atienza. Atienza. Second shot. Missing it. Rebound. Kita mo naman coach, fourth quarter already, pero intense pa rin yung crashing nila ng glass. So, yan talaga yung brand of basketball ng San Beda team na to. Del Rosario operates inside. And a great... Yes coach, walang magpapapetics-petics dito kasi alam nila this is still high level basketball. And televised pa rin to lahat. Review lahat yun ng mga players so they can see what they did good and what they did bad at the end of the game. And who goes of the younger players on this LSGH squad? So ngayon na bibigyan siya ng one time during Judy with the basketball. San Juan melting the clock in here, and that will be it. We are just waiting for the official buzzer, official final buzzer. But safe to say, the winner of this game is the San Beda Red Cubs prevailing against Lasalle Green Hills. In a few moments, we are going to. Uh, award the champion and the MVP together with the best coach of the finals game of our inter high school match of our playing court is the high school team of San Beda Red Cubs winning the first ever Velvet D League championship crown this is a historical moment for the Velvet D League and these young kids winning their championship on our Velvet D League Inter High School. So beside Ayan, me is the one and only Francis Dolente of the San Beda, the most valuable player of this game. So first off, congratulations in enduring and finally bagging the championship for your team. Now, we all know that your team are leading all throughout the game. So sa tingin mo, saan ka nag-excel sa game mo today? Uh, ano po? Uh, execute lang kami sa uh, offense lang po, yun lang lang po dali. At saka sa defense po, uh, dapat hard, 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 kami, hard kami lahat eh. Ano? Okay, so may gusto ko bang batiin, Francis? Una-una po, marami marami, 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 salamat po sa Panginoon na binagyan kami ng championship na po, na champion po, at saka sa coaches, all the coaches, lalo-lalo na kay Coach Mayko, at saka sa Sabmeda University, at sa uh, shoutout ko, pwede yung shoutout po. Okay, shoutout. Ah, uh, shoutout yung po sa mga, shoutout yung sa mga sumusuporta na sa akin po sa 
mama ko po, papa, mga iksoon ako, akong pamilya, da, sa Bilarmosa family, Dolinde family, o kaong girlfriend po, si Chayen Balsenya po, siya, shoutout po sila, at sa Kawayan Dalagit Cebu po, shoutout po. Alright, so congrats once again, Francis Dolente. Now we move on to our next finals game, San Beda versus Ignite. Stay tuned to find out more. And what's up everyone? Today I'm here with the best coach of the tournament, Coach Miko Doldan of San Beda. So first and foremost, Coach, I just want to say congratulations on the win uh, championship. You know, you guys beat Aureliano, tapos ngayon LSGH. So, you know, during that game ng championship nyo, lahat pumapasok, like mga, mga bank shot, mga three-pointers nyo, ang ganda ng mga defensive stops nyo, lahat-lahat na complete game. So, how could you explain this? Is this, you know, a result of your preparation or was just, yung today was just the day of the team talaga? No, I think part of it is our preparation talaga. Kasi our, our goal is, hindi lang yung first five namin, or not, not just our first five, our second group, or even our third group. Our goal is for everyone to get better. So it showed yung game namin today. Everyone was clicking, everyone was ready, defensively, offensively. So, uh, so I'm really happy with the result for today. And yeah, before the game, I was able to talk to Coach Renner. And then I asked him, sabi ko, Coach, kausap niyo yung coach ng San Beda. Mag-close ba kayo? And he told me na teammates kayo before. So like, how does it feel to go against one of your friends and teammates and to actually win against them in a championship? Yeah, so Sirene was my teammate back in high school in San Beda. Uh, and then, and then, magkalaban kami ng college in UAAP. So it's just nice to compete against your friend, your former teammate, uh, compete with him in the, in the highest level. So it's really fun. Ayun, Coach, and uh, before we end, uh, do you have any greetings, shout-outs to anyone? Shout-out. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to all the supporters, everyone who's working here in the Velvet League. Congratulations. It's a very good league. Uh, thank you for everyone. Thank you to, to the San Beda community, to all our coaching staff, to all our players and our parents, especially to my wife, Cheryl. Thank you. Okay, there you have it. Uh, coach Miko Roldan, the best coach of the tournament from San Beda. Sumabay, tumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up Nang hindi ka post, mga moves Napang hoops, ang lupet, smooth as smooth